So if you're an FF7 fan that's been on Twitter within the past like 24 hours, you've likely been exposed to the whole Kate Sith versus Ketshi argument. And if you're not aware of what sparked that, basically the FF7 Twitter made a tweet which was like, this is how you say this character's name, that character being Kate Sith. And they had it spelled out, you know, phonetically like Kate Sith. I'll have the tweet like right here editor me be sure to put that in and this ended up causing a lot of backlash and if you're an ff7 fan that's like me who's kind of just been winging the name for the past few years the amount of people upset by this was like shocking but there's a reason for this as it turns out the name kate sith isn't kate sith at all in fact it's pronounced ketchi it's a gaelic name of celtic origin and it refers to like a cat-like creature that's a witch or whatever it's it's like the third result when you google the name it's not even hard to find when i started looking into this like just searching on my own there are a lot of like huh moments you know because as a kid growing up with ff7 and i'm not that old by the way i'm like 25 so when i was introduced to ff7 i was i was fairly young one of the things that stuck out to me when i first watched advent children was why <laughs> why is this cat speaking like this right why why does this cat talk this way i don't i don't get it and then hearing that same thing be repeated in dirge of cerberus knowing what i know now oh dude it makes total sense there was a very intentional voice direction that was given to this character in advent children and in dirge of cerberus that relied heavily on the influences of its origin I mean, like, clearly it's a dude doing an accent. But for all intents and purposes, this is a very Celtic kitty cat. So to go back and double down on like, oh, it's actually Kate Sith, just seems a little disingenuous. So why is it that we're saying Kate Sith instead of Cat She? I'm fairly certain this all just really boils down to localization at the time when FF7 released and how popular the game became. Because unlike today where you have teams working on games like Yakuza and the Clock Tower remaster and stuff that's about to happen where you have these very passionate people trying to present this game as authentically as possible when they translate it, back in the day it really wasn't like that. You had likely very small teams that were just given the task of make this game at least comprehensible in the region that it's going to be released in and ship it, you know? So that's how you end up with things like this guy are sick or the whole Aerith versus Aerith thing, which funnily enough, just to open up another can of worms, Aerith is a name of French origin that literally means like the earth full of flowers, which is the most on the nose name for that character, the flower girl and what she goes through in the events of FF7. Yeah, they weren't paying attention to shit like that. So they saw a name like Ketshi and they were like, uh, fucking Kate Sith, ship it, <laughs> you know? just ship it now does that mean it's right now for them to double down on the kate sith thing just because of how popular it was i wouldn't say necessarily honestly i feel like now would be the best time for them to remedy that considering when you listen to catch she in the most recent trailer they're still very much leaning into the celtic identity of this character you can find him oh sephiroth you see I think there's a very easy way that Square can remedy this by just acknowledging that this is where this character came from, this is the name as it should be, it should be Ketchi, you know? And if they really wanted to go the extra mile, they could actually go back and re-record voice lines, which would honestly be a bitch to do and I don't see them doing it, but it would appease like a decent sized group of people who've largely been ignored over the years because, you know, Twitter wasn't a thing back in the day, so if you had any genuine outrage or upset with something you couldn't go on the internet and bring a lot of attention to it as you can now that being said uh please don't send death threats to people like that's that's not the sound of mind response to anything ever for the most part it's like oh you said this name wrong i will now proceed to murder your entire family like whoa wait hold on wait what <laughs> Maybe, maybe tone it down a little bit there, Chief. Also, that goes both ways. Like, don't dismiss people just because of your ignorance. It's okay to be wrong, okay? It's okay to be like, oh, you know what? You make a good point. They should change this. It's okay. It's fine. So, yeah, that's basically everything that happened with Ketchi, and that's my opinion on the matter. I think it's a very easy fix to just stop calling him by a slave name of Kate Sith. <laughs> 
feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed this or whatever found it to be informative if you didn't dislike it or you know what to do you know what to do make your voice heard argue amongst yourselves in the comments <laughs> If you really want to see more of me, I don't actually upload here on YouTube. I spend most of my time streaming. Twitch.tv forward slash 7 underscore 07. We're playing Silent Hill now. Because it's the spooky month. Woo. There's nothing more spookier than corporate America. Anyway, bye. Go do some crimes. Be great.